Hey guys, since the launch of macOS Sonoma, I've been getting a lot of questions as to whether CCC cloning is still viable and or recommended. So today we're going to be revisiting that topic using of course our best friend Carbon Copy Cloner 6 as you guys can see on the screen right now. Before that, let's briefly take a look at my machine here. So once I drag the window up, it's a 2020 MacBook Pro and I've recently upgraded to macOS Simona 14.1.1. Now since I've upgraded, another macOS version 14.1.2 has been released. So today we're going to be playing around with that on our destination drive. But without further ado, let's select our source drive. And before we select our destination drive, we want to make sure the file system is APFS because macOS installer only recognizes APFS. And if it's anything else, especially non-native macOS formats, we want to format it using disk utility. So I've got disk utility open right here. And then we're going to go into my passport. That's my external drive. And let me format it to APFS. Now, if we take a look down the list, only these four options are viable. So don't choose anything from down here. Even macOS extended cannot work. So let's do erase wait for it to finish and we're done okay so let's go back to carbon copy cloner right so we want to select our newly formatted drive and you can notice a safety net icon now if we go here safety net is by default on now usually i would recommend against tweaking anything about safety net but if you want to tweak it, safety net is a mechanism that prevents your files and folders from being corrupted when your destination drive runs out of space. So if you want to tweak it, then do it with caution. Um, but instead, we're going to go into legacy bootable copy assistant, which we went to last time. So if you came from the last video, you may remember me talking about both these options. And today, for the purposes of this video and moving onwards, as long as Apple doesn't officially support APFS Replicator anymore, we're going to do standard backups starting from this video. Because APFS Replicator, if not officially supported by Apple, will only become more and more unreliable, as it is already unreliable on the last one. So we're going to click standard backup. And here's some filters. You can tweak it however you want. Although I would recommend against tweaking or unselecting the system libraries and stuff. Other than that, you are free to do whatever you want. And the same goes here. You can run whatever you want or tweak safety net however you want. Although it's not very recommended to do the latter. So after you have done that, let's start our clone or our standard backup. Now while we do that, we're going to take a look at our macOS installer. Now I've already got this on my desktop, so I'm not going to download it again. But if you haven't, now is the time for you to go into App Store and search for macOS Sonoma and you will see such an icon pop up called macOS Sonoma. Just click into that and click get. Now on my second display here, which you guys cannot see, I've got software update in my system preferences pop up and ask me if I want to download macOS Sonoma. If I select yes or okay, it will take me to downloading the installer and once the installer finishes downloading it will appear in my applications folder and it will automatically launch now we want to quit it when the installer launches because we don't want to install it right now instead what we're gonna do is 
We're gonna wait for it to finish. Okay, now that it's done, we wanna click OK. And now we can head into the Mac OS installer that we've just downloaded from the App Store. So, I previously moved it from the Applications folder to my Desktop folder, so it's easier to locate. But if you have it in the Applications folder, just open it from there. Okay, now let's talk through the installer. Click Continue, and then after agreeing to the Apple license terms, you want to, instead of clicking Continue on Macintosh HD, show all disks and select your new disk untitled. Now, this is why I previously said only format the disk as APFS because macOS installer can only install to APFS and it will not accept macOS extended. All right, so continue and then select an administrative account you wanna use the password for, install. And now use the password for that administrative account. All right. And now you're all set. Just wait for the installer to finish. All right, macOS installer is finished. And now it will count down the number of seconds we have to close down all our applications and then it will restart for us. So we want to close all our apps starting with OBS. So see you guys on the other side. Okay, so now that I'm booted up in a new system, I get a streak of notifications and other stuff such as to set up iCloud, whatever, right? That's typical of a new system installation. So I'm just going to click later on uh, all of those prompts and of course it asked me to uh, okay. it asked me to enter my password to unlock the disk data which I will do right now but other than that although being a little slow this is indeed a functioning system on 14.1.2 and if we take a look at Finder here. Come on, Finder, Finder. Yes, okay. We'll see that all our system icons are appearing on the drive untitled instead of Macintosh HD, which has no icons, signaling that this is Macintosh HD is not our boot drive anymore. Untitled is. In conclusion then, is this still possible? Yes. In fact, very much. Is this still recommended? Well, considering that it's a relatively painless process, I would still recommend cloning your system if you have a need for it. But if you don't have a need other than a backup, I would say this is too much work for a backup. Just do a standard backup instead. If you guys have any further questions, please make sure to let me know in, down in the comments below. But other than that, this video is over. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe and like for more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.